Hello, friends and family. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. I'm Tom. My wife, Melissa, is videoing. Today is March 19th, and it should not be as cold as it is. The high today is 35 degrees. It was 19 degrees this morning when we left for church. It's just too cold for me. So, we got home from church a few minutes ago, and Melissa and I decided we need a mug of hot chocolate. So that's what I'm getting ready to fix. This is what you're going to need to make homemade hot chocolate. You're going to need two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and we will put the butter and cornstarch together and let that cook for just a few seconds to help dissolve that cornstarch. Then we're going to add two cups of milk, four tablespoons of granulated white sugar, and a good half cup of chocolate chips. Now you can add anywhere from a half cup to a cup of chocolate chips, and you can use whichever chocolate chips you want. We usually use milk chocolate, but I had these semi-sweet chips already opened and I didn't want to open another bag, so we're using this Ghirardelli Semi-Sweet today. It'll work perfectly. You can use milk chocolate, semi-sweet, or dark chocolate, depending on your preference for how dark you want the chocolate to be. Now, we have made it with as much as a cup of chocolate, but for us, it makes it just a little too chocolatey. So I do a good half cup of chocolate chips. I kind of pile them up a little bit you use as much as you want. So we will start by turning our stove on medium heat and adding two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to cut it up a little bit so it melts a little faster. Get it started in there. Once that butter is melted, we're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. I don't want to turn that too high because I sure don't want to burn that butter. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit just to get that melted. It's almost there. Now, going to add in our tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm going to whisk that in just until it begins to bubble. You got to be careful. You do not want to burn this. So I've got. We have a gas stove, and I have it on number two which is just barely above the low setting. But you do want to cook this for just a few seconds to make sure that it's dissolved. And then we'll start adding our milk. And I'm going to add that a little bit at a time. Just to I'll try to do this backhanded. So you can see what I'm doing. Try to get that butter and cornstarch dissolved in the milk. Now that it's dissolved, I can add the rest of it. I'm just whisking to make sure that's combined really well. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit to about medium, probably four, four, five on my stove. And we will wait for this to come to a boil. When it starts to bubble and come to a boil, you will see that your milk mixture will thicken. It thickens because of this cornstarch that's in there. And that's what you want. You want it to thicken just a little bit. Before we add the sugar. No, you're right, we gotta add the sugar. My fault. I'm glad you said that. I'm going to add that sugar and get it dissolved. 
Um, but you've got to be really careful because if this starts to boil, it will boil over. You've got to really watch it. You cannot walk away from this. You have to keep whisking and stirring and um, just keep it from boiling over. Now, while it's starting to heat up like this, of course, you don't have to whisk constantly. But you will want to stir it or whisk occasionally so that it doesn't stick on the bottom and just to keep it moving around. So, we are going to let this heat up. It's going to take just a couple of minutes for it to heat up and start to simmer and come to a thicker state before we add in our chocolate chips. So when it starts to thicken and boil, we will come back and finish it. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, you can see that it has come to a boil and look how it expands. You do not want this to boil over. That is not good if it does. So I'm going to remove it from the heat, add my chocolate chips, and stir those in. Now, if you get them stirred in and they're melted and you feel like it's not chocolatey enough, all you have to do is put some more in. You fix it the way you want it. But this looks really good. Plenty chocolatey to me. Wow. It smells good too. It really does. And you can see it's thickened slightly. All right. Are we ready to fix this a couple of mugs? Absolutely. In fact, I'm pour this right handed. Now, I put marshmallows in mine. We didn't have any. Um, miniature marshmallows, but we had some big ones, so I just put those in there. There's your mug, and there's my mug. Yum. Get rid of this pan. Doesn't that look good? That looks nice. Yep. All right. For the taste test. Yeah. If I don't burn myself, <laughs> this was boiling. And you know, the truth is, Melissa likes hot foods and drinks a lot more than I do. I don't like anything too hot. I don't want to burn the roof of my mouth, though, ever, or my yeah. tongue. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that is so good. All right. If it's cold, maybe it's even snowy where you are. Thank goodness it's not snowy here. But if you want a really good mug of hot chocolate, make some. It doesn't take you any time. There's nothing wrong with those little packs of hot chocolate mix that you stir into milk. But this is really good, and it's very easy. We hope you enjoy it. If you would, we would appreciate you going right below this video and clicking the thumbs up button. That just says you liked our video and the more of those we get, the more YouTube will share our videos. And if you haven't already, we'd appreciate for you to click the subscribe button. That just lets you join our channel so that you get to see all of our videos when we post them. And there's a little notification bell right beside of subscribe. If you'll click that and click the word all, it will just notify you every time we add a new video, so you'll know there's been a new one added. We do appreciate you watching our videos. And remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.